hello there this is the guy that in this tutorial I will show you how to 3d model this sofa in blender so let's get started uh, I will share the blend file of these measurements and these guidelines in the description down below so uh, if you want to follow along a hundred percent that will be great and then you try it again on your own so let's set up our scene click on this icon here under units unit system instead of imperial choose metric and then length instead of meters choose or select centimeters now click on this icon here to bring down our snapping menu hold shift select vertex and then check active check rotate and check scale so now press shift a to add a mesh and then a circle expand this menu here uh, vertices we need 8 radius we need 5 and then I'll rotate on the x axis by 90 degrees zoom in a bit we need to bring our circle here and then snap it up here so to do that slide our x location here to the right and then hold shift and control to snap make sure you snap it to the cross section before the angle here and slide it up on the z axis hold shift control and snap it to this cross section here now zoom in press tab to go to edit mode select this vertex press x delete vertices now select both of these vertices by holding shift and clicking on them press e z hold control and snap it down to this red line now select this one press g z hold control and move it up control l and then press f to close all of our uh, vertices here so now select this one hold shift select this one press j to connect them and then select this one as well and hold shift select this one j to uh, to connect these two press k for knife tool cut all the way here press c for a straight cut left click enter now press tab to go to edit uh, object mode press 7 on your numpad to go to top view press g y hold control and snap it to our black line here or our guide press tab to go to edit mode press a twice or until you select the entire mesh here now press E Y hold control to snap and snap it to the line before the last one here make sure you have one centimeter approximately between this edge loop and the end of our guide here now press X delete faces select this uh, vertex here shift D hold control and snap it not there hold control and snap it to this cross section to the left of our uh, edge loop hold alt uh, before you do that shift s cursor to select it now press x delete our vertex here we don't need it anymore hold alt select this edge loop here press f3 to bring our search box here and then type in spin s p i n press enter uh turn down the steps to two steps and then the angle rotated by minus 90 degrees so now you can see we have a cool bending extrusion happening here so press e x hold control and extrude all the way until you align it with the green line here to make sure it is 100 percent aligned press m and then click on the x value here make sure it is zero now press tab to go to object mode shift c to bring back our cursor to its original uh, location and while you have your mesh selected press ctrl a apply all transforms now press one on your numpad to go to front view click on this uh, modifier properties menu here or this uh, key uh, icon here add modifier add a mirror modifier make sure you check clipping and leave the rest all as it is 
Now minimize your modifier. Rename our circle as uh, base maybe or base frame. Rename it whatever you like. And now save your base. So now what we are going to do now is to create our inflated uh, cloth here. It also goes uh, around our sofa here. So just keep that in mind. Now press tab to go to edit mode. Uh, before we select anything we need to turn on x-ray mode this icon here or alt z so select it it allows us to select both the visible and the invisible uh, vertices to our uh, viewport here now select all the bottom faces or vertices here press x delete faces make sure you click on faces and now alt z or turn on turn off x-ray mode from this icon here now click on this uh, icon here or press 3 on your uh, keyboard to go to face select mode select this face hold shift control and then select this one this one and then this one not that one this one and this one and then lastly this one we need to deselect this one and deselect hold shift and click on all the front faces here to deselect them so now we have all the faces that we need shift d to duplicate right click to keep it in place now alt e to uh, bring up this menu here and choose the second one extrude faces along normals now hold shift e uh, shift control to extrude and extrude outwards make sure you have this one approximately aligned with the guideline here and now press 7 on your numpad to go to front uh, to top view press a to deselect everything and then click on this icon to go to edge select mode you can see that we have three edge loops here which are uh, clipping or uh, yes clipping hold alt and then select this edge loop here press g twice make sure you pre press g twice to slide it back then left click click on this value here and then type in 0 0.04 or minus 0 0.04 and now hold alt select this one as well press g twice slide it back type in 0 0.04 this time without the minus sign now you can see it no longer uh, clips and we will fix it even more later now we need to uh, attach these vertices to this edge here so to do that make sure you are in uh, you can see here if I hide our cloth modify a uh, cloth object here you can see we have our base selected so what you need to do is control R and add a cut to the base not to the cloth uh, object left click to keep it uh, in place and then click on this icon here to turn on vertex select mode hold shift click on this vertex twice to make it active now press G Z move it up hold control and snap it to this vertex here now go to face select mode select this face press H to hide it alt select this face loop here make sure you hold alt and then click on on this edge here this white edge here and now shift D to duplicate it right click to keep it in place and while you have your faces selected ho uh, hover on top of this uh, circle here and then l to select it as well now shift h to hide everything else press a to deselect the rest now select this face here and hide it as well hold alt select this face loop press G twice and slide it back a bit so now 
we need to attach attach these vertices to this one which is quite easy now press uh, in 3d space here to deselect everything hold alt select these faces and then select these face loops as well these ones so now what we need to do is right click loop tools and then bridge if you see your uh, topology messed up or if you uh, you have a messed up topology all you need to do is twist once or twice until it looks all right so now what you need to do lastly select this edge loop here this one and press G twice and slide it all the way here press A twice until you select everything go to vertex merge vertices and then merge by distance to remove any doubles now press alt h to unhide everything hover on top of this uh, cloth object here and then press l to select the entire linked mesh here and then press p selection to separate it into a separate mesh here so now press tab to go to object mode select this object here rename it as cloth i know the names are quite uh, generic but you can name it whatever you like now let's save up our progress here now what we need to do is uh, let's create this base here to do that select your cloth here and then press tab to go to edit mode make sure you press backslash to uh, isolate our selected mesh here and then control R to add a cut here right click to keep it centered press N and then here on the Z value here type in 20 so now we need to press on the or click on the 3d space here to deselect our uh, edge loop click on this icon or go to face select mode by pressing 3 on your keyboard select this face hold control then select this one as well so now uh, shift D to duplicate right click and then press P and then selection now press tab to go to object mode click on this icon here or click on our uh, cloth modifier here our cloth cloth object the hell now press H to hide it select our plane here press tab to go to edit mode now press 7 on your numpad to go to top view click on uh, vertex select mode press B and then select this one make sure you have x-ray mode uh, checked and then select it press X delete vertices so now what we need to do is select these vertices make sure x-ray mode is checked and then shift click twice on one of these selected vertices to make it active press gy hold control and snap them to this one do the same to this part here select these ones shift d uh, shift click twice on them and then press gx hold control and snap them as well now press a twice and then go to vertex merge vertices by distance to remove any doubles you can see that we have connected our faces here now go to face select mode select this one go to vertex select mode hold shift double click on one of the vertices here press e and then hold control and snap it to the middle ones here you can see it's not perfectly aligned we will fix it soon now since we have our face here selected we must delete it press x delete faces and now let's fix our uh, alignment here to do that go to this icon here click on it and then bring active element here select it so now uh, select all of these vertices hold shift double click on these ones one of them and then s y zero 
do the same to these ones select these ones shift click twice on one of these ones s y zero and then do the same to these ones shift double click on one of these s x zero now select the entire mesh by pressing a twice and then remove doubles and you are good to go turn off x-ray mode press tab to go to object mode and then rename this one as uh, cushion base or whatever you want cushion base now click on the backslash to go back to our view here global view alt h to unhide any hidden object and save up see you soon